Hello everyone, me again. For a long, long time, I wanted to test out the aiming of the tweeters. Um, how is it important? Uh, is there a big difference? What kind of difference it is? So uh, I kind of, um, I didn't know how to do this because people say just put the tweeter like in the corner, in the towel and um, orientate it and that kind of stuff. So uh, some people came up with very good ideas like Mark from uh, Car Audio Fab. He made like a 3D uh, grabby thingy which you put on the uh, tweeter and you can adjust it. So that was uh, a very good idea that I um, took from him and I constructed uh, something similar. I'm gonna show you what. So idea for today is um, try a few different aiming positions like some people say aim the tweeter directly to your face to your ear uh maybe to like somewhere like here on the roof uh maybe like on the somewhere here on b pillar or like towards the window i'm gonna test all different positions and see what uh difference it makes because like the thing is tweeter pattern is kind of um tight beam and the thing is like if if I close my door and I have the tweeter which is on the passenger side the left one and it beams directly to my face some of the energy still goes through here through the side and it bounces off of the window and goes into my right ear and it kind of messes things up so um, if you're gonna aim the tweeter like for example here somewhere on the top that reflection is not gonna be there that's the theory. I don't know. So that's how I'm going to test it out. I'm going to test a few different aiming positions and uh, yeah, we'll see the results. So now I'm going to show you what jig I came up with and it, it cost me, I don't know, five pounds for everything, which is super, super mega cheap. So it is janky. Don't judge me, but I'm doing everything on the cheap. You know that. Yeah. So let me show you what I made. And this is my alignment tool. So I have a PVC end cap, which is like two pounds, laser from eBay, one pound. And I have a, a bit of weight on a piece of string, which is like a pendulum, so I know it's straight. And what I do is I align this for it to uh, shine. Sorry, it's not even. Yeah, it shines like this. If I remove it, it shines spot on what it's supposed to like in there, yeah? And if I twist it, yeah? So it, it doesn't look even, but see, I twist it and the beam stays in one place. So I know it's aligned. And the, the bottom of the PVC end cap is flat. So I have these, which are, um, I think they're like, um, they are designed to mount um camera like an action camera somewhere like mounts it's like literally two pounds so they're fully adjustable and the idea is i'm gonna i just drill a hole in my a pillar here i'm gonna try to it's very difficult to do one hand i'm gonna screw this in temporary just like that yeah cool and basically i have full uh let me just like that i have full adjustability like that and the idea is to have it so i put this tweeter just with a dab of hot glue like that and you can imagine it's like this yeah so it will be where is it because now i have this with just double-sided tape just like that and basically i will have full adjustability in different angles so it's extremely difficult to demonstrate with one hand but i'm going to try to do my best so that's my laser and this so this end cap goes just over it like that and it stays flat and flush and i have my uh, laser beam for example like that so i'm just adjusting where i want it either here either like on the opposite side or in the window and when i have that angle i'm just gonna tighten this and lock it in place and basically the tweet is going to be exactly where I want it to be so that is the plan 
So there we go. I have the tweezer mounted like in that with some hot glue and like look I put this on top and it's it's not like moving or anything so it is like flat because the, the surface of this is flat so I have it there and my laser is showing if you can see it like in the middle on the roof so that's one position for example and if I want to change it I just undo that uh, I don't know if you can see it now on the top there's a screw I just undo the screw I twist it wherever I want it and I tighten it back so that's the idea how to adjust the tweeter so I did mark a few different positions for example one here with the tape so that's what I'm gonna aim with the laser one here one on the B pillar so the B pillar I think is gonna be because now I have hold on my camera like where the tweeter is so the B one is gonna be directly towards my ear and my face that's gonna be one two then I have here like in the middle of the car so it's more like for a two seat tune maybe and one uh, here on the top just for fun you know and I'm gonna make another one because my window is down now it's gonna be like right towards the window and the thing is uh, I didn't mention it so I'm gonna measure it uh, twice the same I'm gonna aim it I'm gonna measure it with the window up and with the window down because if you take these two measurements then you're going to see the difference of the reflections how many reflections you have if you take a measurement without the window there's obviously no reflections yeah so this is the idea and a very similar idea with the driver's side tweeter because the thing is it's it's already aimed towards you so like if i close the window uh, and it's aimed towards my right ear here there might be reflections coming from the tweeter and going to this window and bouncing to the ear. But that difference, I don't know if it's going to be a big one. So the idea is aim towards my right ear, then maybe towards the face and maybe towards like uh, this and this position and just see if there's going to be a big difference. Yeah, we'll see. I'm done with all my measurements and now we're going to have a look. So this is all of them. So as you can see, the discrepancy is quite big. I have two files, one for left tweeter, the other one for the right tweeter. And um, so I haven't looked at them yet. So it's going to be my first glance. We're going to go through this together. Let me clear. So first of all, let's have a look how big of an impact has the window opening. So this is aimed at the headrest. Uh, red window up, green window down. It's not a big difference. So the biggest difference is like between 6 and 10K. Here with window up, we have more level. So I guess the reflections contribute to that. Maybe. Okay, so that's a headrest. Uh, this is the handle that's next to the window. Again, very, very similar. Here is a big difference, one and a half K. Okay. This is aimed at the B pillar. Again, with window up, it's very similar. You have more level here. Okay. Now, this is aimed towards the middle of the car. And since it's the most, uh, left position I did a measurement with window down uh, the driver window down with both windows down which you can see there's a difference here and with windows up so there is a slight difference okay now so this is in the middle of the car in front where the lights are where you, yeah, so not a big difference. And aim towards the window. So I guess this should be the biggest difference between the reflections. Let's see. No, very similar. Like here, it adds between 6 and 10K, adds a bit. So windows up or down, it's not really a big difference. Maybe 2 dB, 1, 2 dB in places. However, the biggest difference will be probably perception. So now let's have with windows up, 
all of them, the different positions, window up, window up, window up, window up, and window up. It's going to be a lot. Ah, there's a bit too much. Okay, so let's have a look at the lowest one. So the lowest one looks to be this purple. Yeah, so this is the measurement with aimed towards the middle of the car. So it's the most off axis response. And yeah, you can see like here above what 14k. This level is down the dip at 8k the biggest one with off axis. And in general, the biggest uh, level is below one and a half k, which is kind of to be expected. Yeah, so this is the lowest performer because it has the lowest um, level from all of them. Then the lowest one, let's see the lowest one. This aim to, again towards the middle of the car in the front where the lights are. So this these two are the off axis, both of them the most off axis. And now we have headrest, handle, B pillar, and window so window i don't know looks to me the highest level and i guess this but here like uh three and a half k this dip it's the biggest dip looks to me but the highest level overall everywhere else so aim towards the window which is weird we it's supposed to have reflections B pillar, very similar. Towards the handle, very similar headrest. Okay, so let's let's just compare a few. Let's have a look at um, headrest and B pillar should be very very similar. Yeah, extremely extremely similar because it's it's almost the same aim. So let's have the headrest versus. Uh, the handle which is on on top of the window up on the window so here a bit more level a bit here okay and which one is the window aimed towards the window so aimed towards the window gives me the biggest level especially like here on the top above 16 as well the biggest level here a uh, bigger level overall from 5k up to 12k here a bit more level here actually so i think it's the reflection probably adds up because window let, let's just check again window up and window down there is a bit of a difference so my contenders is the headrest or b pillar because b pillar and headrest is very uh, very very similar extremely similar so it's kind of the same so either headrest, either towards the window, but towards the window, I guess, is going to be a lot of reflections. So aiming at the headrest is a solid contender. If I aim towards the middle, here I have very little level is dropping above like 13K. It drops down because towards the middle is more off axis. And headrest is like spot on on axis. So yeah, less level. So headrest, I think aiming towards the headrest is the best option from the left, the passenger tweeter. That's a solid contender. Okay, now, we'll have, now let's have a look at um, the right one. So the right one is my driver's side. Let's have a look at the reflections first. So this is off axis, aimed towards the middle with windows down and windows up. So we have, uh, slight dip here with windows up so that might be a cancellation from reflection and a bit more level here so there's a difference um, aim towards the middle and up towards the light switches which is the most off axis i think so this is window down this is window up the blue one window up which i see just a peak here and a peak here again with windows up, I don't know if, if I can call this a cancellation, but it's the same. 
in this area. But again, this is an important region because it's a kind of a crossover region. If I cross it at like two, two and a half K, this is going into the crossover slope. So this is an important region. So ideally you would want it uh, if I have it window up. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best. Okay, uh, B pillar aimed towards the passenger B pillar. Okay, so a lot of level here and a dip here. So aim towards the B pillar again, since it is the most left uh, side aimed. So I have B pillar with window down, the green one, blue one with win both windows down. So it doesn't affect and window up. It's almost the same. So it doesn't matter if a window were open or down and aim towards my headrest, which is the most on axis response. So windows up is the teal one, a bit more level everywhere here and this, these two dips. So that's the on axis. Okay. So not a big impact of window down. Now let's compare with window up, all of them window up, uh, window up and window up. So I'm looking at this part above 10 K. The purple one is the bottom performer which is aimed. Yeah. Most off axis of course is going to be the lowest at the top end. And this has the biggest peak here at 1.5 K you see as the biggest peak. So this off now we have very, very similar responses. So I'm con I'm going to concentrate on this region for now because the top end is kind of, so now I have three responses uh, aimed towards the middle, which is off axis, which to be honest has a good, uh, but it does drop above 17, 18 K. So the brown one see drops a lot, which is aimed towards the B pillar again, most off axis response. And it has the lowest level here as well. So aim towards the B pillar out. And now we have uh, aim towards the middle of the car in the back or at the headrest, extremely similar. Let's just change the headrest window up color because it's, it's very, very similar to the other one. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So aim to the headrest. See, there's a much more level here. Very, very similar. And in this region, similar. So one is a dip here. The other one is a dip here. So I would want to same aim to the headrest. Let's remove this and just compare which one was it aimed to the Yeah, so the headrest is going to be the most on axis response. Yeah, so either middle of the car, either headrest, but headrest gives me this above 16, 17 K. See this one drops and this one keeps going. So conclusion. The conclusion of all of this experiment, all my measurements is that, and disclaimer, this is extremely, extremely important part in my car with these specific tweeters, with my tweeters, my aiming is towards the headrest is the optimal that gives me the best response. And I will be aiming them towards my headrest, which is spot on on axis towards my face. But again, this is my install, my tweets are specific that have specific on and off axis response. Your mileage may vary. So take all of these measurements with a grain of salt because it will depend on the tweeters that you're going to have. It will depend on on and off axis and it will depend on the locations because my locations are in the corners of the dash next to the mid range. And if you're going to have them in a pillars uh, a bit higher, that might be different. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.